Hello kids and good morning. Welcome to Mathematics Year 2 with me, Madam Audrey. We are still at this topic, Addition, Subtraction, Multiplication and Division. Last week, we learned about division this week as well. Are you ready, class? Let's get on to it. Before we proceed with our lesson, let's look at the learning standards. 2.4.1 Divide in the range of basic facts. Okay, class, what are these? These are apples. How many are there? I give you 30 seconds to count. Okay, how many are there? There are 16. How about this? These are boxes. How many boxes are there? Four. So I want to put all these apples into these four boxes equally. Sama rata, bahagi dengan sama rata. How many apples just now? 16. So it's 16 divided by 4. Let's divide. Okay, so 1 in each box, we return to box 1 again. Okay, now there are 2 apples in each box. Let's do it again. Now, there are three apples in each box. Last round. We have how many more? Four apples. Okay, can four apples divided into four boxes? Yes. Normal apples and each are divided equally. Dibahagi dengan sama rata. So 16 divided by 4 is 4. We can also use the division form like this. 16 divided by 4. Okay, remember the multiplication song for 4. We use the tune of what? Are you sleeping? Or oh, brother John. Okay, so for at 2 16. Okay, 16 we get until 16. Okay, again, uh, for at 2 16. How many fingers are there? There are 4 fingers. So 4 times 4 is 60. 16, so we got until 16, and 16 minus 16, we get 0. So 16 divided by 4 is 4. Next question, what are these? These are books. How many books are there? Can you count? I give you 30 seconds to count. Have you finished counting? How many books are there? There are 22 books. Now we have three children. These 22 books, we have to divide by three. Each kid must get them equally. 
If one kid gets five, the other two kids must also get five. Come, let's divide. Okay, now each kid has how many books? Five. How many books are left? There are seven. Can we still continue giving equally? Yes. Now we left four. Can four books be given to three children? Yes, we can still continue giving. Oh, now we are left with one with one book. One book cannot give three children. So let us count how many books each children has. There are seven. With the remainder, how many? Remainder one. Remainder means baki. Okay, we can also use the division form. 22 divided by 3. Okay, remember the song for the multiplication of 3? The multiplication of 3, we use the bunny song. The I love you, you love me. Okay, so it's 3. Remember your fingers. 3, 6, 9. 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Okay, we stop at 24 because 24 is near to 22. But can we use 22 to minus 24? 22 dapat tolak 24 tak? Tak dapat. Kalau tolak, mesti nombor besar tolak nombor kecil. The number you divide must be a smaller number. So, we get 22. We cannot divide, right? We get 21. So, 7 times 3 is 21. You minus, you get remainder of 1. So, 22 divided by 3 equals to 7 with 1 as the remainder. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, there are how many balls and baskets here? I'll let you count in 30 seconds. How many balls? There are 27 balls. And basket? 6 baskets. So we need to divide 27 balls into 6 baskets. Let's try it. Now each basket has one ball. Enough balls to divide the second round? Yes. Now, each basket has two balls. The remaining, can we still divide by six? Yes. Okay. Now each basket has three balls and we are left with nine. Can nine be given into six baskets? 
Yes, nine is bigger. Okay, now each basket has four bowls. And remaining, we have three bowls. Can three be given to six basket? No, not enough, right? So, 27 divided by 6 is 4 with remainder of 3. Yeah, because the 3 we cannot divide into 6 baskets. Each basket has 4. We can also use the division form. 27 divided by 6. Remember the song for 6? The song for 6 is London Bridge. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Okay, so our multiplication of 6 is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Okay, stop singing because we are way over 27. So we need to look at 20. 7. Okay, can we use 30? No, because 27 is smaller. 30 tak boleh guna sebab 27 tak boleh tolak 30. Kita kena cari tombol yang kecil sedikit. So, we can use 4 times 6 is 24. So we can use that. Put 6 times 4, 24. So we minus, we get remainder of 3. So 27 divided by 6 is 4 with remainder of 3. Okay, what if I give you the situation in division form? 34 divided by 6. We put it in division form. Okay, we can't be drawing so many balls and apples. So, it's better to use the division form. 34 divided by 6. We look at multiplication of what? Multiplication of 6. Remember the song? Okay. 6, 12, 8. 26. So we can stop at that 36. Cause 36 is bigger than 30. Remember, the number has to be smaller. So we choose 5 times 6, which is 30. We put 5 up there. Down there is 30. We need to minus. 4 minus 0 is 4. So we get when we get uh, when we divide 34 divided by 6, we get 5 with remainder of 4. Next question. 25 divided by 3. Division form 25 divided by 3. We need to look at multiplication of 3. The bunny song. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Okay, the number here is 25. Which number is smaller than 25? Yes, this. So, add times 3 is 24. 24 we put down there and add we put above. 25 minus 24. 5 minus 4 is 1. So, the answer is 8. Remainder. 1. Next question. 69 divided by 8. Okay, division form. 69 divided by 8. This is multiplication of 8. 
If multiplication of A, what's the song? Do you still remember? If I'm not mistaken, it's Oh McDonald. So, is at 16, Okay, since our number is 69, we must find a number that is slightly smaller than 69, which is this. So 64, minus 64, add put on top. 9 minus 4 is 5. So the remainder is smaller than 8, then you are doing it right. 69 divided by 8, the answer is 8 with remainder of 5. Okay class, today we learn division with remainder. Pembahagian bahagi yang ada bahagi. I hope you remember how to get it. The exercise for today is complete the following question in your exercise book. Use division form. How many questions? 15 questions. Guna bentuk bahagi untuk dapat jawapan. Okay, all of them has remainder. So you need to write. What's the answer with remainder? That's it for our class today. I hope you remember how to divide with remainder. Thank you class and see you again at the next lesson. Goodbye.